back to Liz Sews. Uh, so it's been a little while since I've done an unboxing video, but I, you, you guys seem to enjoy it, so I thought I would give it a go and do it again. So this has come in from the TaylorMade shop and she is based out of New York. Uh, this is sort of a mixture of TM Collaboratory, so the TaylorMade Collaboratory is a group that I'm involved in where I do get some stuff for free. Um, so it's a mixture of that as well as some things that I've purchased. So I just thought it's it's always fun to sort of see what different shops sell and, and sort of what the experience is. Um, disclaimer, I have gone through here and I've sort of like organized things by project, so it's not exactly how it was shipped to me, but you get you get the gist of it. So lots of fun projects in here. Um, let's start with this one first. So this is actually going to be my TaylorMade Collaboratory project for the month of August. So TaylorMade is also the shop that hosts Brogist. It's hashtag Brogist, which is a, a photo a day prompt thing on Instagram where there's a different um, sort of thing that you're supposed to like post a photo about each day and there's prizes. I think this year because of the pandemic, all of the prizes are digital. Uh, so that's kind of an interesting thing and it's cool that she thought about that. So this is the, the project that I'm going to be doing for August and it's this really, really pretty swimwear fabric. Um, I don't know, it's not something I would normally go for but I just really loved the colors of it. I thought they looked really, really cool. Uh, I have half a yard of this swimwear fabric, so I should be able to get a two-piece suit out of this, so bottoms and tops. But I also think that this would look really, really great with just black bottoms and this like sort of vibrant multicolored top. So I love the idea of being able to, to mix and match my swimming suits. Uh, I am planning to shoot a video as well for this project because uh, I have had a lot of questions come in about how to turn a bra pattern into a swimsuit. So I'm going to shoot a video showing you how I make my Black Beauty, which is my favorite pattern, into a swimsuit. The techniques and, and methodologies should work for any sort of underwired bra pattern that you're looking to recreate into a swimsuit. So that is the first project and fabric. And I also have some different swimwear clasps from her. Now, this is not the first time I've made this mistake. I made this mistake with other suppliers before, um, which is not paying attention to the, the size of these swimwear clasps. So here we have one that is a half of an inch. This one is really, really tiny. It seems like this would be better suited if you were going to make maybe a front closure bra. Um, so the way that this works is there's a pin system in here and the pin has to be like lined up exactly inside um, for it to slide in and then snap. But I think because of the height of it and because of the complexity and how this la latches together, I would definitely relegate this to the front of a bra. I don't currently have a bra designed for front closure, so I might have to work on that. Um, and that, and once I get a bra pattern working as a front closure bra, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I probably won't use it for swimwear, I'll just use it for a regular bra pattern. Uh, and this is what, I, this is always what I think I'm buying. It's just that on the website, it's hard to tell the difference in sizes between these two because um, pictures are hard to tell, uh, hard to tell like size comparisons. And, and certainly she does mention on the website that this is a half inch and this is a one inch and I'm just stupid and I didn't pay attention. So these are the type of swimsuit clasps that I really like putting on the back of my, my swimsuits because I find they're really easy to do up uh, blind and they are really secure. So it just is two pieces like this and they slide in together and then snap. So that's gonna be the back of that swimsuit there. The other thing that I got for August is, so this didn't use up all of my stipend for the collaboratory, so I, I got together some things for a second bra as well. Um, and this one is one that's been sort of like jostling around in my head for a while, but I'm really excited about. So this, this is actually an ivory color. It looks kind of white on the screen, but it is a little bit creamier, a little bit more off-white. Um, and this is bra tulle. So the idea is I wanna make this like ivory bra tulle bra, which is very like light and ethereal and barely there, but then juxtapose that with black uh, elastics. So I don't, I think I saw a version of Emerald Aaron's 
several years ago from her blog where she did like ivory and black and I really really loved that color combination so I kind of want to try it. I like how this ivory is like nice and sweet and delicate and I like how the combination is of that like hard and soft. I think it's a cool look. So I have some three quarters of an inch strap elastic, so really, really beefy strap elastic for that, and some underwire channeling. I also have some rings and sliders that correspond to the three quarters inch elastic, and some underwires, these are just regular uh, day style wires. So my, in my standard size, which is a 40 wire. So let's see, let's do more stuff because it's fun. Um, so this lace is just really beautiful. Unfortunately, I think it is sold out on the shop right now, but it is stunning. Uh, so another rigid tool lace. Uh, the decoration's only in one size, but from the look of it, there's not really a, a hard repeat in it. I mean, obviously there's a repeat of these flowers here, but I don't think it's as necessary for mirroring because this is sort of like one look, but I really love this gradation between these different tonalities of blue. I think it just looks really, really cool. Um, so this beautiful lace. I think I have a yard of that. Uh, I also got some navy strap elastic to go with this. And it looks like I've got some navy um, fold over elastic. I was probably thinking of doing a black beauty bra. I don't remember. It's been a while since I requested these things because um, I had been waiting for the swimwear to come in before it all shipped out to me. So I don't know what I was thinking with this. I have to think about it. But this, the, the fold over elastic is a little bit more greeny blue than the rest of it. So I might switch over to do black. I still will use these straps because I think the strap looks like a nice blue, but I might switch everything over to black. Um, and then I also have a hook and eye to go with that. And then next up, we have another embroidered tool lace. I just, I don't know what to say. Like this is, this is my jam. It's what I really enjoy working with is these embroidered tool laces. I just think they are so pretty. Um, so this one is not coming up on camera as cool as it is in person. It does have a little bit of fluorescence to it, a little bit of neon uh, and tones of like, like a bleached neon green and yellow, which is really, really stunning. Um, so you can see some yellow tones there, some green and a little bit of white, but yes, really, really stunning. So I had requested black findings to go with this. I kind of liked, again, the, the, the hard soft, not necessarily hard soft, but this is like ice searingly bright. And I like the idea of doing black with ice searingly bright. I also think this would look really good with white. Uh, I don't know about you though. I find that when I do white bras, no matter how hard I try, they just get dingy. Um, <laughs> I hate doing laundry. Let me just say that. So, I mean, I guess I could separate my laundries out into lights, darks, and whites, but I always just do light and darks. Um, so my white bras do tend to get a little dingy after a couple of times washing. Um, so I will throw my bras in like a lingerie, like drawstring bag into the washing machine and then I line dry them all. So that's how I wash things now. Uh, it used to be that I would just would wash them all in the bathtub, but now I wash them in the washing machine because if a bra wears out faster, I think that's okay. I think I have enough to sort of uh, um, be able to sacrifice a few bras. So yeah, so this is just a really pretty lime yellow and then with black, I think this will be really cool and I'm excited for it. So I do have underwire channeling. This one I can probably, the underwire channeling is probably enough to use with this blue bra as well. Uh, strapping elastic and then the two sizes of Pico and hook and eye closures. And then this bag is things that I've purchased. She's always putting new stuff on the shops and I have very little self-control when it comes to pretty things. So it's probably why I made this purchase. I didn't need it, but I really wanted it. So the first lace I have here is a yard of this really, really pretty autumn lace. Now I have this already in, a, in her blue colorway. So this is what I just purchased and this is the one I have in my stash. And I was planning on making this up in August. So we'll see if I get around to that. Oops. So this is the one that I have in the stash already, which is much more like 
uh, sharp colors, much more true and vibrant, these, these really beautiful blue hydrangeas. Um, but the more I was looking at this lace, I just thought this one is also equally as beautiful and I want to give it a try. And obviously these warm tone oranges and creams and dusty pinks are right up my alley as well. So I did get a yard of that to play around with. I also got a yard of her new autumn rose lace. So this is a new addition to the shop. It does look very similar. So this is the lace that I made. The um, This lace is the one that I made a long line bra out of in July. Uh, and this one has been sold out in her shop really frequently. So this one is 12 inches long or 12 inches wide. So really, really wide. Um, but you can see there is definitely a difference in the coloration as well as the scale of the roses on here. And, I, and also there is less of that sort of like blank space in the middle. Whereas this lace has a lot more open area. Um, the autumn lace is a little bit more dense, but I think equally as gorgeous. So these are a little bit softer color, a little bit more uh, muted, still very pink. So you can see that how these are related. These two pieces of lace are related, but not exactly the same. Um, really excited to work with this one as well. And then just the last thing I got in this order is some more swimwear fabric. So I am in love with this. It's her ribbed, ribbed swimwear. I've made a one piece olive swimsuit out of this. I'm planning on making um, like a burnt orange one out of this. Let's see if I can get this focus. Yep, you can see that, that rib knit in there. Uh, it has such a soft feel. It's really, really comfortable to wear. And I'm just in love with this, this stuff. Uh, it does in person, this is a little bit warmer tone of a pink. It's sort of like a peach, peach blush, very pretty. I love it with my skin. Uh, and so I bought, mm, I think I bought a half yard of this before and I've made an Axis tank out of it. And I really, really like the Axis tank and I love how this color looked with my skin. So I decided that I wanted to get another yard of it to make another one piece swimsuit. Uh, I love this, the, the basic scoop neck one piece swimsuit because I can also wear those as sort of like a bodysuit as well uh, as a layering piece like underneath a, a button up shirt or something like that. So I think they're really versatile. They're not just swimsuits for me. They're also uh, bodysuits. I sort of use them dual purpose. So that is the last thing that I purchased from the TaylorMade shop. So lots of exciting, beautiful, wonderful things in this order. Uh, let me know what you're most excited about seeing sewed up. Obviously all of this I will get to eventually, but knowing the size of my bra making stash, I really need to start making more bras because uh, it's growing at a faster rate than I'm sewing. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.